Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today, the title of the chapter in the book is He Didn't Give Me Roses. To fall in love with God is the greatest of all romances. To seek Him, the greatest adventure. To find Him, the greatest human achievement. Augustine wrote that. And when I fall in love, it will be forever. When I give my heart, it will be completely. And that was written by Nat King Cole. How great is the love of God. He loved me long before I knew his name. He wooed me, chased me, enthralled me, and captured my heart. The ultimate demonstration of his desire that I become his beloved was not composed in a song, nor found in a box of chocolates, nor written in a message emblazoned across the sky. There wasn't a cozy dinner by candlelight. There were no long stemmed roses, and yet there were thorns. Yes, there were thorns. The grisly death of Jesus Christ can never be described just as a grand romantic gesture. Adjectives such as raw, savage, bloody, and violent don't even begin to start to paint the picture of that horrendously beautiful day. And yet, that singular, sacrificial act captured my heart forever. I am his and I will gaze at the cross, even though it reminds me of all he went through for me, as a treasured reminder of that great love. For it is upon that cross that the lover of my soul won my affections. If you ever doubt that God really loves you as a person, as an individual, Meditate on everything that he sacrificed to win your heart. It just wasn't God in the form of Jesus who suffered that day. It was God the Father who watched his beloved son be tortured and to suffer and to die a humiliating death just to bring us to a place where our hearts could be knit to his once again. Take some time today and give thanks for the Rose of Sharon.